Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to share with you a document that I've been refining throughout the years to keep business records. It is a multi-page document where I have records for invoicing and an overall expense sheet with detailed categories and descriptions and just a basic depreciation sheet. If you like the styling and functionality that I've set up in this document, it is available in my shop. I'll post a link in the description. So for conditional formatting specifically, each of the invoices I have styled a different color for the month. So if we go to format, conditional formatting, each of the months has a range. So in this particular case, we're looking at the range C2 through C27. And I've set up multiple conditional formatting rules. So if the value is between January 1st and January 31st, it's going to be styled like this. I do want to note that the year is important. If you're going to continually use this, each year you will need to update the year and the range of values. I also want to note whenever you download this particular template, any of these color values if you go to edit a color, you can find all the other custom colors that I've used within the document. So each of these has the monthly range. And I also have another condition so that in column D, if the payment date is missing, then the text and the invoice date column becomes red. And that helps notify me that I need to follow up on that invoice. So a few other functions in this particular sheet are totals of estimates, totals of payments, remaining amounts, and total expenses along with expense descriptions. On the expenses spreadsheet, this one is really thorough on operation expenses and any other categories of expenses that are commonly used for freelancers or entrepreneurs. There are columns for each quarter, so you can easily see quarterly expenses and annual totals when you're ready to finalize these for your taxes. So as you update values, you'll see how the totals automatically figure here. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.